and I'll show you now how we can make this loop a little bit more interesting. And you know, there's lots of different ways of applying variation to our loop. We can change the levels, we could change pitch, um, but a really nice way of doing it is to change the frequencies. And the way we can do that is by clicking on FX Edit here and then going to our filter. <clears throat> and we can either bring up a, a preset here, an LFO preset, or we can do things ourselves. And like if I, for example, select fourths there, actually, no, let's choose the 16th so it's a bit quicker. LFO 16th. So now we've got on every beat, or rather every semi-quaver, so four times each beat, we've got this filter sweep going on. And this is a great effect to use on a sustained sound like a bass line or something like that if you want to add a lot more rhythmic interest and clean it up and make it less, uh, less noisy. But equally, you can just do your own automation, going into filter, choosing the default one. And it's a low pass as default, so we're just rolling off the high frequencies as we bring the cutoff down. And what we want to do is, uh, with it set to cutoff here, we, we just want to choose sine wave. And now if I drag this uh, up and down, I can choose how much we're gonna modulate the, the cutoff. So we need to bring it down first. Um, in the center here is the position the dial is in. And then up here is the maximum modulation. Down here is the minimum, down here. So you don't have to have it in both directions. Um, but if we do want it in both directions, we can bring that lower one down as well. It's going up and down there. Now the resonance is very high as default on this filter. Um, and something I should say here, this is something that I refer to in the Art of Filtering course when, we, when we're looking at different filter slopes and resonance values and how they how they affect the frequencies in the sound. It's important to know with some filters, especially if they don't have displays, um, how this resonance control acts. And in this instance, this is a very comprehensive resonance control. So it's got a very wide range, just like a, a high-end filter has. So if I bring the resonance right down, it doesn't just sort of reduce the amount of boosting you get around the frequency range, but it actually has the effect of lowering the cutoff significantly. So if you set the cutoff around one kilo, kilohertz right in the middle there, and then you bring this resonance control all the way down, the cutoff actually ends up being a lot lower than one kilohertz. So, so you almost never want to bring this all the way down. You normally want to change it from the default to sort of around here maybe, if you want the filter to be less colorful, but not quite so extreme. You can hear, hear what I mean there if I bring the resonance right down. We're actually getting a lot of these frequencies uh, missing as well. Like that could be quite nice in the lowest modulation there. It's actually filtering out the majority of the sound, so we're getting the effect of the of the clave almost sort of dropping out completely. Um, but it's not so extreme as actually lowering the level to that extent. So that's quite a nice effect, and you can apply this to anything. If I just start a new search at the top here for, um, let's just do toms, say, on one shots and select that now. So 
So you can hear without the without the filtering, it's just a very flat, very samey kind of sound. Um, but um, sorry, without the filter. Very machine gun like, very robotic with the filter. We're getting a nice um, shifting around of those frequencies now. And of course we could make it a lot lower if we want to make it even even subtler. So yeah, you can create all sorts of different effects there. Actually, let's see how that sounds with our with our groove. It's actually pretty nice. Um, we could add a filter after it just to a high pass this time just to um, cut out some of those very lowest frequencies. quite a cool effect. Let's try going for that. So I'm just going to buy it, download it, and then drag out this process version with all of the sequencing, filtering, automation applied. And turn off warping. Let's just undo both of those, turn off warping. And now duplicate this out. Cool. Um, we can also just keep this pattern in here for a minute. We might want to change up the um, change up the sound. We could also even layer a, layer another sound on top. Uh, again, just go into patterns, save pattern to um, one bar LFO filter perk. Select a new track select our pattern um, and then come back to our clave track
So I'm going to actually go for the cleaner, cleaner clave, and I don't know if I'd want to layer those two sounds together. It's maybe going a bit overboard, but maybe I'll have it just as a kind of alternative here, and then we can kind of choose. So we'll call one Tom Perk Loop and one Clave Loop. All right. So let's start off with the Tom, see how see how it goes. Um, now we've got the groove. What this definitely needs is just a straight up eighth note hi-hat pattern. So I'll select the next track along, click my plus there to start a new search. One shots, Loop Masters. And the reason I'm searching for Loop Masters, by the way, every time is just so um, it's less complicated in terms of me getting you guys the samples. Um, rather than using one of another distributor's samples, say, but obviously you don't have to do this when you're when you're searching for samples for yourself. Um, so let's just choose any one of these hats. Actually, I'll change it to a closed hi hat. And yeah, I'll just speed this up by just going to bars and beats in the pattern section and selecting eighths. And rather than hearing it on its own, let's listen to it with our beats. It's sounding a little bit flat like that though, I'm liking this one, but um, what we could also do is a similar thing to the to the last hat, but not quite so extreme. So we're going to apply a little bit of variation to them. First of all, actually, we could do a little bit of level variation. Maybe just bring some of these down a touch. The other thing you can do is just change the start time ever so slightly if you want to make them a little bit different. Often it's good to hold shift while you do this. And finally, going back into the FX section with the FX edit switch, I'm just going to add a filter. And this one, we're just going to literally use it to have the filter cut off, just going up and down ever so slightly on each beat. So a much more subtle application. And all I have to do is hold down the, the Alt key on my keyboard rather than switching over here manually to the slicing tool, and then just chop it on each one of the notes and then if I set it right up the top then I can just use this to um, 
bring the cutoff down ever so slightly. Turn the resonance down. So now we've got a nice bit of variation to the frequencies going on as well. So if I drag out this process one now, we can hear the difference I get. I'll turn off warp, both of those. If we just loop those two on their own, again, one just sounds like our robotic, machine gun-like, identical sample repetition, and the other one sounds like a slightly more natural, varied, um, yeah, hi-hat type, type groove. Obviously, when a drummer hits a hi-hat, you're always going to get a little bit of difference in the level, in the exact timbre of the sound, and so on. So, yeah, that's just another example of how you can get a little bit of that naturalness back in. So we'll just duplicate that across the whole phrase. <laughs> 